My name is Hilton Kelly. I'm the founder and director of the Community Empower and Development Association here in Port Arthur, Texas on the Gulf Coast. We're located right on the Texas-Louisiana border on the Gulf Coast. Uh, Port Arthur is home to a number of refineries and chemical plants and uh, because we have a disproportionate amount of refineries and chemical plants on this side of town, West Port Arthur, our kids are suffering because of that. They have respiratory problems in a, in a large numbers. Uh, we have a lot of folks here that are on dialysis. We have three dialysis clinics here in the city of Port Arthur. And because of the types of um, chemicals we're being exposed to from these refineries and chemical plants, a lot of our people are looking at ways in which they can escape this community. I wrote a piece called My Toxic Reality out of sheer frustration about 10 years ago. And I'm going to share that with you. I think it kind of sums up what we're going through in this community. I see your smoke rising in the air, two, three in the morning when you think no one is there. In the still of the night, my child starts to sneeze. In the still of the night, the other starts to wheeze. Your bright, bright torch, it burns all night. To find my way through the house, I don't even need a light. The roar of your flame I've learned to ignore, even though it's combustion vibrate my feet up on the floor. I know I live at the back end of town and I should just be quiet and not make a sound. You might even find this a little profound, but me and my neighbors are a light and dark shade of brown. I hope our leaders don't conspire to circumvent because these findings I have have a sulfur benzene scent. Excuse me while I cough. <coughs> my throat has a slight tickle. The air I breathe it smells and sometimes very fickle. If you went to take a bath and saw a rash upon your chest, would you shrug your shoulders and wish yourself the best? This money they give is great, and this is only flesh. But if you had the right insurance, you could go and take a test. Oh, I'm scared I'll lose my job if the pollution I contest. But if you died tonight, would your killers confess to the poison they put inside you that laid you down to rest? Would your family have to fight to pay your doctor bills? as you lay six foot under up on a grassy hill. Now your job is gone and your company grievance has faded. Your spouse and kids tried to collect from them, but they said your death was not job related. My toxic reality. My toxic reality. My toxic reality.